everyone today let's make a water sensor and the materials are a full charge 9v battery cello tape 9v holder led and two metal pieces connect the two metal pieces with the 9v holder and the led with the negative negative wire then connect the ne the positive to the metal terminal for the negative wire so we have done the wiring now let's start connecting take some of the cello tape then connect any one terminal for now, I am connecting the negative first. If it's very loose, do this thing two or three more times until it's very tight. Now, after finishing the negative, take the positive terminal, leave some space and, and connect it with some cello tape. But it should be like it is far, but it's little bit near. It is far, but it is near, but it should not touch. You should make sure that it's like that. And now we have finished making this. Now let's test it. Take your name, B. Now let's check is our project working or not. See, the LED is not glowing because there's no wire here and it's not working. So now let's pour some water and check is it working or not. See, the LED is glowing. The LED is glowing even if there's no wire. The process is from the positive electrons will go like this enter until here. Then it will water is a conductor so electrons will pass from positive to negative. In negative terminal, the negative is going and reaching this LED. Then the negative is going through the bar through this wire, reaching the battery. And this process is repeating so many times, that's why it's not getting off now. 